Hi, I'm Judy Ricketson for Families in Global Transition, and I'm here today with Joe Parfit, a writer who has lived abroad for 26 years in six locations. She's made a career out of doing what she loves and has now written 30 books, helped over 100 authors to get into print, and published 83 books through her publishing company, Summertime Publishing. A poet, journalist, magazine editor and writing teacher and mentor, she specializes in writing about the world of the globally mobile. Jo, I understand you're working on a new project called The Worlds Within. Can you tell us about that, please? Yes, sure. Um, the idea for this book was born at the Families in Global Transition um, in 2012, um, when I was very impressed with a workshop I'd seen on um, how a a TCK had turned her love of art into a career not only doing the painting but also teaching other people how art could help them as a sort of therapy. And I realised that there was a lot of new thinking from young TCKs these days but I also realised that there's nothing out there that I've seen. An anthology of writings and artwork by the global known, our global nomad children, and the one, the ones who have moved around the world, and have perhaps not been able to have a voice, and have made, they've maybe they've, maybe they have written the odd poem, maybe they've written the odd thing in their journal, but there hasn't really been anywhere for them to get this published. But not only that, it's not the sort of thing they probably have um, submitted for anything at school because um, it can be quite personal. But I knew that. that there were lots of um, there were lots there were lots of um, TCKs out there who had um, they either had an artistic talent or they had a writing talent, and they deserved to be put together so that in a book so that other people could read what they've written and see what they've done and be inspired not necessarily by their writing skill and their painting skill but by the meaning behind it, by the insights that they've had, perhaps by the emotions that they have, been, they have expressed. And I wanted to create a book that collected these pieces by TCKs, the pieces that were written or painted before the age of 27. So as far as I'm concerned, if the young people out there will forgive me, the young people, they're not, that they are still very young adults, they are probably still students, which is why <clears throat> we put the cut off at 27, so it was kind of the end of the school and college era. And um, so we've been collecting submissions from all over the world, from people of all nationalities. English does not have to be a first language. We've got pieces from people who are Nigerian, Korean, um, British, um, all, all over the world, I can't think right now. We've got poems, we've got stories, we've got... Um, fictional stories that are actually based on fact. We've got some lovely drawings. I do need to say that the drawings that we're putting in it will all be published black and white. Um, but we're, we're looking to produce a book that's got a, probably around a hundred entries in it, a hundred contributions. Yeah. yeah. Um, of course it depends how long something is. We're saying a maximum of 2,000 words. Um, and of course if we get several things that are 2,000 words, that's going to limit the number of other things we can take. Mm -hmm. And I also want to say, I say up to the age of 27, but if your child has drawn something that you consider to be very poignant, and they are five or six, fantastic. If they've written a poem that you really find very moving, um, but they spelt it all wrong and it perhaps doesn't scan properly, but it really made a lump rise in your throat. That's the sort of thing we're looking for as well. So it's not about skill. Um, it's about meaning and it's about insight and it's about emotion. And so at this Families in Global Transition conference, I was with my friend Ava Laszlo Herbert, who lives in The Hague, and we agreed that we would do this book together. I'm the publisher, she's um, helping to be my contributing editor, my collating the work, and she's helping with PR. Ava is um, a multilinguist and a, a simultaneous interpreter of five languages, and she's a very, very talented writer who has a lot of soul and a lot that, a lot to express herself, so she's, a very, she's very discerning. And, um, and so between us, we have been 
very gently doing some PR, using some of our contacts to get the word out there. And so the book will be published this year. We've already got, we haven't got enough contributions, no, we certainly want more um, so that we can make a very good selection. The closing date is going to be April this year. There's going to be a box at the conference for people. So if, if you're coming to the conference and you've got a child who's drawn something or a teenager who's written something, bring it along, put it in the, put it in the box. We're going to be collecting things there. We're also going to be doing some writing at the conference as part of the Writers' Forum. And if you are under 27 and come along to that and you write something that's fitting, that could well be considered as well. So we're going to use families in global transition as some way to promote it as well. And then the very exciting thing is that I am so passionate about families in global transition. And they have been um, running the Dave Pollock Scholarship for many years, which gives not necessarily young people, but people who could do with a bit of help financially to come to the conference uh, without paying the conference fee. And so 5% at least, more if we can get some advertising and some sponsorship, will be going towards the Dave Pollock Scholarship Fund to allow other people to go to the conference. Um, now, We've got a very simple website, theworldswithin.org, where there's a, a few example submissions that we are going to accept. There's some stuff there about how you can submit. There's some uh, a page there about how you can sponsor or advertise in the book. In fact, we're not asking so much for advertisers as people to underwrite certain things. So, for example, if you are a graphic designer and you would like to get involved, you can, you can give us your graphic design service. In, and in order for being a sponsor, or you can you can fund it for us. So we've, we don't really mind how you do it. We want lots of people to be involved. And frankly, Judy, the more people are involved, the more people will then shout about the book when it's out, help it to get out there, help people to buy it, and get some money for the Dave Pollock, Pollock Scholarship Fund. Everyone, I, everything I try to do is win, win, win. So let's hope it works. <laughs> it not it not. I was going to say it also gets new writers and new artists out there and gets them published, which if you're interested in doing anything later, is something to put on your CV. Thanks so much for talking with us today, Joe. You're welcome.